Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the one knot that I think every woodsman, bushcrafter, survivalist, and overall outdoorsman should know. This knot is the San Diego Jam Knot, or the Jam Knot, and we're going to look at how to make this and some of the uses of this knot in this video. Now before we jump into it guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Now before we go up close with this knot, the reason why we're covering the jam knot in this video and the reason why I think that this is the one knot that every woodsman should know is that there's actually plenty of videos out there uh, detailing things like the bowline, the square knot, the overhand, and plenty of other knots. And don't get me wrong, those knots are also pretty useful out in the wilderness as well. I mean really just about any knot that you can make will be will prove you useful at some point when you have to use cord to build shelters, tie up different things, um, or even just make a uh, or do just about anything when it comes to cordage. So you should learn as many knots as you realistically can, but I think that the San Diego Jam Knot, or Jam Knot, uh, is just a knot that really goes on under the radar and it's super useful and it's actually one that I find myself using all the time out in the woods. And not only is it really easy to make, but it provides you a nice kind of, almost like a hangman's noose where you can, uh, you know, make a very where you can make a very large loop or a very small loop. And like I said, I use this knot all the time, whether it's in shelter construction or whether I'm especially a great use for this is when I am collecting boughs, pine boughs, to insulate my shelter or to make uh, different kind of raised beds and such. When you have to go out and you have to gather heaps of pine boughs, you know, you just make a nice uh, big you make a nice big jam knot and then you're able to tighten it down on those boughs and carry, you know, pounds of boughs back at a time with one single trip. So anyways, I'm going to bring you guys closer and we're going to show you how to make the jam knot. So let's jump okay, in. Okay guys, we're now just a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see this. I will try to do this several times so that you guys can see how to make a jam knot. Now, like I said, this is a kind of noose uh, or loop styled knot. So essentially the end product will be a self-tightening knot that can be adjusted to fit your needs. Now you can do this just about anywhere on the line, but generally uh, you wanna start towards one tag end and remember that the tag end or this end here will there will be some left over you can kind of adjust out if you need so without any further ado let's uh make the knot so you want to start out with of course a loop because this is a loop knot so the first thing you're going to do is i like to hold it in my left hand and you're going to take your tag end wrap it over your thumb and then you can wrap it so you want to wrap it at least twice, but you can also wrap it three, four, five times. It really depends the amount of times you wrap it uh, on how much strength you need from the knot. So that's what I like about the jam knot is if you're just doing something really simple, like trying to make a kind of self-spooling uh, coil for your paracord, you can just wrap it a couple times. But if you need this to be weight bearing or if you're, say, putting it into a shelter, you know, or using the knot for your shelter, you might want to twist it, you know, uh, four or five times. So the next part to finish the jam knot is that same loop that you formed over your thumb, this one right here. You're going to take the tag end and run it through that loop, and then you're going to pull on the right side here to tighten the uh, this loop right here. So the same loop that you formed over your thumb is going to pull on the right side and tighten it up and you can also dictate how much slack or how much ease you want with this um, loop knot by dictating how tight this uh, loop here is so if you pull really hard on the right side of the jam knot then that will make this very tight and it's kind of hard to uh, express over the video how tight this is but it's pretty tight it takes some considerable force but if you want it a little bit looser you can also loosen up that loop at the bottom and that should also make it slightly easier to uh, feed uh, paracord through or feed the left side through 
So that's the basics of the jam knot. The nice thing about it is that whenever you are done with the jam knot, all you have to do is keep pulling on your feed end. So the left side will, will be the feed end of this loop, but you can just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and everything undoes itself. So that's another handy part about this is there's no catches to it. You don't have to undo the knot or unmake it. You can just pull it and it all falls apart. So one more time, we'll go over the jam knot. So you take it, wrap it over your thumb once, then you wrap it once again twice at minimum. You could do a third one too if you wanted. Uh, once again, you can wrap it as many times as you feel you need. And the more you wrap it, the stronger the knot should be. So when forming it, you just want to pull it, make it, make these loops here as uniform as possible. And of course, this right side tightens down this loop. And uh, yeah. So that is how you form the jam knot. Now, like I said, there are plenty of uses for this knot and loop knots in general, whether it's something like the hangman's noose or the jam knot. Uh, one of my favorite things to do with this uh, San Diego jam knot is you can take a piece of paracord, say you have a long length of it like this, you can wrap the first part of it around your uh, index finger and then kind of make this butterfly where you are wrapping the cord around your thumb and your pinky and you just go until the cord is finished. And it doesn't necessarily have to be super perfect, but you just keep going and going and then eventually you hit your uh, butter or not butterfly, <laughs> you hit your uh, jam knot and then you can just take it and I like to bunch up the cord around my pinky, kind of slip my pinky out as I slip the jam knot over it and then you move the jam knot to the center of your kind of butterfly and then you just tighten down your jam knot and at that point you're all good to go and you have a nice uh, kind of roll of paracord uh, that will just spool out without getting bunched up or without getting knotted and the nice thing about the butterfly is at the very end or not the nice thing about the uh, jam knot is at the very end if you keep pulling everything undoes itself so it's a really nice seamless package it's a really handy way to keep paracord uh, from getting all knotted up and nasty when you're trying to carry it in a pack or a pocket or something like that so anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.